gosh, you know, classics have no regard for the reader. They're just like, we're gonna give you a horrible ending. It's gonna make you feel utter despair. I know, right? Like, I'm all dressed. What? I'm wearing jeans. What? <laughs> trying to keep a good habit of just getting ready every day, you know? Because at some point I'm gonna have to start doing that again. So, we'll see if I stick to it. I managed to upload a video this morning and I also had breakfast already. So now um, that that's done, I think I'm gonna spend the rest of my morning with my coffee. My coffee's over there, I don't wanna spill it on myself, but she's hot, she's ready to go, and I'm going to read. So I have a couple of things I wanna read this week. The first being, the Last Magician. I have a buddy read going on with some girls on Twitter that I'm so excited to read. I read 50 pages yesterday and I'm going to try and get to 100. And also, might I just add that Books with Leo has these amazing... Is it Books with Leo? I think it's Books with Leo. Yeah, yeah? Yeah, Mind Daisies is the Etsy store. I think the, the vibes immaculate you know what i mean <laughs> so i am doing a reread because a third installment the serpent's curse is coming out soon so i'm rereading so i'm rereading both of them and i'm really excited this is a all-time favorite series of mine so i know i'm gonna love it and yes i did just take out my bookmark from where i was luckily i am on page 50 so <laughs> just stressed myself out there a little bit <laughs> The next book I want to dive into, I'm not sure how far I can get into it, is Foundation. I don't know how to say this dude's name. This is an older classic sci-fi book. My dad's on chapter 9 already, so I need, to, I need to get going. And if you want to hear more about this book, check out my book haul that I recently posted. The last two books that are, you know, that I want to read basically is Kindred. I have the audiobook for it, a bunch of the classics that I wanted to read the other week that I didn't get to, basically going to squeeze in here and there. So this week I'm going to try and get Kindred under the belt and then the shame I feel. I am enjoying this book. It's just I, I haven't been in a physical meeting. I haven't been in a physical reading mood in so long. So it's just hard and i managed to get a good amount of it read during a uh, live sprints that i did so maybe i'll try and join some more reading sprints but i have like 40 pages left and i can do it she's getting done this week at some point i don't i don't know i also don't know if i wrapped up a brave new world i had a vlog that i was going to post but i ended up being too messy but yeah read it uh, I liked it. I think I'm giving this one more of a three star, though I did like the science fiction aspect of this. Gosh, you know, classics have no regard for the reader. They're just like, we're going to give you a horrible ending. It's going to make you feel utter despair. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. And I was like, <laughs> okay. Because, you know, I'm like, with Animal Farm, I was hopeful that Snowball would, you know, figure out a way to come back, fix things. Mm. And then this one, I was hopeful that, you know, what's his name, the, 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 the savage, the... I thought, you know, maybe he would, like, turn a new leaf, figure out how to change people's hearts. Oh my god. <laughs> he turned out to be real cray at the end, if you guys don't know. I won't spoil it, but Jesus. I really want to see the HBO show now to the end and see how they finish that. Because, yo, this dude is wild wild murderously wild like wild wild i love that you can see the little turd pillow behind me <laughs> so i finished a book it was the gilded ones finally 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 i've been literally reading this for like a month and i only had like 20 pages left <laughs> i was being ridiculous i really enjoyed this book i do think that i'm gonna give it a 3.5 i loved the story I love the world. That no noisy car is ruining my vibes. <laughs> but I will say that like the dialogue at times felt very repetitive. I feel like the twists would have been more shocking if she didn't like the main character didn't highlight her personal thoughts and questions all the time. I feel like you question it once, twice. It's like, okay, it's in my head. Every chapter she's questioning the same stuff constantly. So it's just it felt a little repetitive and there were the action in this world though there were great moments of action i feel like they could have been longer especially for a fantasy 
um there was just a lot of talking <laughs> but i do like that and if you're a very character driven person like you like character development you'll like this and there's definitely still a lot of plot stuff don't get me wrong but i just feel like the action could have been more could have been milked more less talky more hitty you know what i mean but i also continued reading the last magician oh my god i can't believe how amazing this book is the writing of it lisa maxwell just has my heart i feel like though the gilded ones was a good book solid 3.5 and i would continue on with the series because i'm interested this story the way she writes it's lyrical it's funny the banter is great the dialogue and action are well matched perfect in balance we have so many questions and i just love the back and forth between time periods especially as someone who really likes to piece together things oh, so much fun <laughs> i'm going to keep reading this I'll talk to you later gosh i'm having the most productive day i swear getting dressed like changes everything well that and uploading a video always gives me just a little serotonin like yes seeing your guys's comments <sighs> means so much to me but I am now taking a lunch break. I literally just filmed a video too, so I'm very proud of myself. I'm hoping to edit it and get that ready for early access for my Patreons. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna eat my lunch and chill for like 30 minutes, maybe, I don't know. I have a very long list of things that I wanna accomplish and I've accomplished most of them, like calling the pharmacy. Eating breakfast was on my to-do list. Sometimes you just need a reminder um uh uploading at 10 a.m and also i do eat breakfast every day but like the feeling of like checking off things you know you know what i mean yeah i need to still post about my live show april 17th for let's talk about love i need to do that um i filmed one of three videos that i want to film today and then i will have tackled everything that i wanted to do i'm gonna gobble down this it's the ground turkey ground turkey I think that's what it's called. Ground turkey, garbanzo beans, and rice. Basically, I just saute everything. Someone complimented my cooking. Thank you. I literally just saute anything. Veggies, meats, beans. I'm just like, let's throw it in a pan and cook it. <laughs> that's, that's my skill set. It's very lit. Yay. Um, but I got to page 104, so... I did my buddy read for the day. I haven't started foundation though. And I worked out and showered and then got back into my PJs. And now I'm planning on my little to-do list for tomorrow, which involves going to the pharmacy. It's the next day and I have made my morning coffee and had breakfast and got dressed wearing jeans. Look at me being an adult, but yeah. I got to page 104 last night and I think I told you guys I'm really really enjoying this reread I just love Esta so much if you haven't read this like what are you doing what are you doing I also think just the writing style is so good the chapter structure is so engaging like it really reminds me of and I'm in the ashes but it'll look it's smidge better just because it's not super consistent with whose perspective you're in but it's always very very clear whose perspective you're in um but it's super engaging and you're constantly like wait what happened to that one character we need to get to that chapter but i still enjoy every chapter so yeah just i'm gonna gush about this book because it's so good and then i'm gonna start reading the foundation i started reading it last night i tabbed something that confused me that'll probably be a common occurrence with sci-fi um but yeah i'm going to keep reading this i just read chapter one last night which was like seven pages but it's so cute and i really like the the guy's perspective that we're following currently he's venturing off to tanter a planet where the leaders of the galaxy the empire <laughs> all the smart people are coming together to try and fix this issue that's arised which I don't really know exactly what the issue is, but we're, we're, we're gonna figure it out. So yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs, read, drink more coffee. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Also, also I was supposed to go to the pharmacy today to get medicine. Literally, the only thing that I wrote in my planner, I, don't, I like really big red bold letters, go to the pharmacy, didn't go. <laughs> so I'll go tomorrow. <laughs> I'm currently watching Jamie's live stream. It's on my phone. She's on Twitch. 
but I'm going to mute her real quick so you guys can hear me. It's really making me want to stream now, but I shouldn't because I'm not a good gamer. But I think that'd be the funny part. It's like, I have games, I play Switch games, but I just, I suck. But I don't know. I thought it might be fun. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put away some laundry now and I was going to update you on foundation. I'm looking around because I put it down somewhere. <laughs> I am now 30 pages into foundation, which is chapter 5, which is so cool. I actually really appreciate how short these chapters are because I feel like, sure, the ideas are kind of dense. In this world, galaxy, whatever, what, whatever you call it, there is a planet that is kind of the central planet that has the imperial like government or the empire is run through this planet called Cantor. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Might not be. Um, but yeah. So this planet Tantor holds like 40 billion people and the buildings are not tall but they're starting to build into the planet to house all these people. This whole like book is basically about Tantor is going to be destroyed. There's a lot of politics in it because like everyone's striving to be the emperor and whatnot and the planet's obviously weakening. But then there's this committee of public safety, they really run Tantor, um, a bunch of um, aristocratic, aristocratic families, I forget how the word is said, uh, but those families run this public safety committee and um, they are against Selden's idea because it means publicly denouncing their strength. So it's very interesting. I really like it. I've been texting my dad about it. I kind of like it. It's giving me Superman vibes. And one of the characters' name was Jarrell. You were learning all about how nerdy I am today, apparently. Ha. <laughs> Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. Was Are you comfortable? You comfortable there? Hmm? 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 Stop it. No, no, oh, oh, stop. Oh, you're running away. <laughs> no! <laughs> this is how we shuffle. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you hiding? It's, it's a good shuffle time. No, it's great. <laughs> it's really great. Where it's ugly. Where it's ugly on the yeah. side? Okay. Just oh, wait. <laughs> the, don't put it upside down, Jessica. <laughs> Okay, it's good. Okay, we only have a little bit of time. We have four minutes. Everybody hurry because we have to come here slice and have to one. eat it. Yeah, it's fucking ugly, isn't it? It's funny. Yeah, you don't want any more. You want one good luck candle. This is going on Instagram. <laughs> Light it. Ooh. Are you ready? How do we? Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Mm -mm. I don't know the end. How to end it? Happy birthday, it's birthday boy. Four minutes to the end of your birthday. Okay, make a wish. Birthday, 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 birthday. Make a wish. Wish. Press your hand. Woo! Yay! Okay, now nice. eat it. What's good, guys? Um, So it's Monday, and I think I already filled you in that I went to my brother's, came back, back in my environment. <laughs> it was very fun. We had like a, I went over just for his birthday and it was safe. Um, and I'm so tired. I feel like when I was hanging out with him, I really was just sleeping 24 seven, like really good sleep. Cause like when your mouth's open and you're just like the best kind of sleep and like very vivid dreams. I, it was a good time, but because of that, I am very sleepy. Cause I feel like when you over rest, you know, you're kind of always like ready to sleep some more. So I'm trying to kick that in the butt. It's like 6 p.m. I put a hair mask in. I'm going to do my hair tonight. We're going to do a full cleanse. Um, yeah. So hopefully I can get some reading and stuff done tonight too. I've fallen a little bit behind in my buddy reads. Oh, well, a lot behind. <laughs> Let's just be honest. But, so, I think I'm not going to pick up foundation tonight. But I'm going to read The Last Magician. Just because I know it's a book uh, that I love with all my heart. And I have the audiobook for it. So I think I'm going to do that whilst, like, my hairs, you know, while I'm doing my hair while it's drying. I also have to edit a video to get it uploaded tomorrow, but yeah. Ooh, so sleepy. Oh, and the reason why I wanted to vlog right now is because I made lunch. You can't really see it, it looks very bland, but it's, it's 
it's bland let's just be honest um so it's ground turkey that i sauteed with some sasson uh garbanzo beans also flavored with sasson and some cabbage and feta cheese because those are the only salad ingredients that i have right now and if you have noticed i did my nails i feel very fancy i do feel like i need a little bit more of a tan to rock this color but it's okay we'll work on that hopefully this week i can get back into exercising every day which i will exercise tonight and going on like morning walks to get my son my vitamin d for the day the lighting is so bad the sun has gone down but i don't feel like turning on my lights because ambiance I'm currently wearing a sports bra because I'm about to work out, which is great. I'm trying to start working out every day again. I used to be very active, but then I got diagnosed and people were like, please stop working out. That affects your blood sugar. So now I'm getting back into it. Um, so we'll see if the little muscles will grow again. And here, let me show you. This is the person I end up watching. I also watch blog, blog a lot a lot, but this person, I'll link down below the two um, kind of cardio main workouts I do. I really love that her videos are very long and have a full workout, so I'll tend to do these um, depending on how I'm feeling. I'll do it once or twice. So um, today I'm going to aim just to do it once and then have like maybe an extra arm workout on the side for 10 minutes. I basically try to work out for at least 40 five minutes hopefully we'll get that up to an hour sometime soon but yeah the lighting is terrible i apologize As you can see, I did my hair. Yay. Um, but it's later. It's 10.30. <laughs> um, and as you saw, I worked out and stuff. But I was going to spend the next probably three hours editing a video to try and get it up for tomorrow. I'm really aiming for uploading on Tuesdays and Fridays. But I already messed up last week and uploaded Saturday on Saturday. <laughs> and um, I think I've decided that I'm just going to upload my vlog on Wednesday because it's literally going to be this vlog <laughs> that I need to edit and stuff and I don't know what I filmed and I just feel like I would stay up for hours trying to fix it so I think I'm just going to you know wrap up the vlog tomorrow edit it tomorrow and get it uploaded for Wednesday because it's Monday now I don't know if I've said that but now you know but yeah I'm going to read The Last Magician instead what's good fam i'm wrapping up the vlog here it's been a crazy week and just to add another layer of complexity i have another cute unboxing to do of course i didn't bring scissors with me so ah. so first thing you see i got some books i talked about it in my april tbr these two books were released today, April 6th, which by the way, happy birthday to my mom. My mom watches my videos. Happy birthday to me. So this is The Cost of Knowing by Bridget Morris, right? No, Brittany Morris. Wow. I'm like out of breath because I ran up the stairs and like hustling to finish this video. <laughs> Let's read the first sentence, shall we? Oh, the first excerpt is The Curse of Knowledge, a cognitive bias that occurs when the expert in a particular subject communicating with a novice is unable to explain a concept in simple terms that the novice can understand due to the ex expert's experience. What? Okay, there's a couple excerpts and then the first sentence of the first chapter is, I pick up the ice cream scoop and the vision begins. Why is this giving me that's so Raven vibes, but I feel like it's gonna hit at a much more serious note. I'm really excited to read this by Brittany Morris. The next book is also so exciting, and that is Zahira, or not Zahira, Zara Hassan is here. Badass cover. Mm. Let's check out the first, oh, the cover's a little bit. Let's check out the first sentence though. Chapter one. Oh, so the first sentence is technically inhale, but the first like few sentences is inhale exhale repeat i focus on each breath pushing the anger to the back of my mind mm. 
so I'm really, really looking forward to these two. The next things that I were, was able to read during the week, as you saw, was Big Dust Bunny Ew Foundation. I got 29 pages into this. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. He is buddy reading this with me, and I'm behind. And lastly, I am 250 pages into The Last Magician. This has been such a fun reread. I love this book so much, and I'm really looking forward to the third installment of the series. But yeah, that is it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. And if you want bonus content, maybe check out my extra bonus contents and stuff on my Patreon, if you wanna. <laughs> that also really helps support me. But yeah, I hope this video gave you a little bit more sunshine, and I will see you in the next one.